Well, look, I wanted to tell you about the other night. I really, no. I wanted to apologize, Listen, and I didn't have the no, time. No, I didn't no, mean no, most no, of that no stuff. No, there's no need to apologize, because you were right about some things. No, I but I was just on. doing that to get back at you, because I thought you were running me down for being a floozy. Hey, what difference does it make where the truth comes from, as long as it's the truth, huh? Meaning what? That I am a floozy? No, I didn't mean that. What then? I didn't mean... What the hell is that you got on? It's costume night. Fauna made me little Bo Peep. I guess some guys think it's racy or something. Little Bo Peep? Well, it, Doc, it was this or a nun, and I ain't gonna be no nun. I don't believe in it. Somehow these fine moral distinctions escape me. You're the one making the distinctions. I'm just trying to make a living. Yeah, and it doesn't matter what kind of living you make. Don't start lecturing me, Doc. What has your goddamn distinctions gotten you? You got a wife? No. You got a girl? No. I got all the women I need. Oh, like that dame with the fur coat at your place the other night. How'd she like your bugs? Hey, she liked my bugs fine. Oh, Peachy, then how come you can't admit to anyone that used to be a baseball player? How does that fit in? Who told you that? I heard you pitch once. You heard me. On the radio at this diner I used to work at, I remember it because one of my favorites, Louis Delano, got a triple off of you. That's because Behringer, my right fielder, was drunk and fell down. It should have been a routine oh, out. The crack of that bat was so loud. I know a solid hit when I hear one. And if that woman loved your bug so much, how come she left early? Because she had an appointment. At 11 o'clock at night, Doc? She's got a busy schedule. Hell, I'd have been embarrassed to run out a hit like that. Oh, he did bounce off the wall, Doc. Yeah, after Behringer got up and kicked it. Delano couldn't hit the wall for playing in here. She was having such a wonderful time. How come she couldn't rearrange her busy schedule? Because she's a woman of principle. Delano... She sounds like a woman taking a powder to me, Doc. I told you she had somebody to meet. Who? Her husband. Her husband? I may be a floozy, but I ain't no home wrecker. That's disgusting. Oh, yeah? I'm sure Fauna calls a hall of wreckers to make sure that every guy that comes in here is single. Jesus, Louis Delano. How could you get a man like that to be your hero? I don't know, Doc. Look, every time I talk to you, I get more confused. I like you just fine when you're not around. Turn this stuff off. You probably hate it. Wait. I like Bob Crosby. How'd you know this was Bob Crosby? You think I don't know Bob Crosby when I hear him? I happen to know every player in his whole goddamn band. Who cares who all those bozos are? This music's for dancing. It ain't for memorizing. Oh, so now you don't think I know how to dance? I... All right, I'll tell you what. Put a fast song on and turn it up. Huh? I said put a fast song on and turn it up. Let's see what you got, hot stuff. Don't you know Shorty George? Oh, Shorty George. Sorry, I didn't recognize him. You know a side card? It'll come to me. How about a little pecking? Hey, no sweat. Little sissy Q, huh? <clears throat> Can't you get any higher? Ha! How about around the block? Meet you at the corner. Yeah. <clears throat> so 
so long. Going to Kansas City. Like hell. What the hell was that? I call it an over the rainbow. I knew you wouldn't be able to do it. Why didn't you tell me you're going to do it with the rainbow? It wouldn't have made no difference, Doc. Scared to try that again? Shaking in my boots. <laughs> and try it again, they did. <laughs> it never occurred to them that maybe they weren't any good. You bridged too early. Otherwise, we'd have had it. So they decided to give it one more try. The events of the previous night were a hot topic of conversation at the local country club. Mac decided the time was right to throw their friend Doc a party. I figured take 